So, Hallie, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh... He stumbles for a second before finishing. Manga. I can't help but look up at him as he says this. So that's what Monica was trying to do. Get him to start talking about his interest in manga. It makes sense they would find someone who shares that interest with me. But enjoying manga is like enjoying ice cream. There are so many different flavors that not everyone is going to like the same thing. I suddenly realize I've been droning out the conversation. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oops, I spoke without thinking. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... I think back... <clears throat> I think back to the car accident and everything since. Never mind. How can I tell them there's enough horror already in real life? That's right, it's you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? I feel anger flare within me. What? I'm 18 now, I shouldn't be a cute little girl, I don't wanna be! What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called <laughs> The Lost Princesses. I didn't mean to leave it here. It is way too personal to ever share. Don't say it out loud. And give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. I'm not cute. Can't they understand I should be a woman of now? Ugh, not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Does he like poetry as well as manga? Only one way to find out. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. He also likes poetry? My heart begins to beat faster. No boy is this perfect. Why don't you share them sometime? Now my heart begins to race in fear. N no! I look away. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet. How can I explain how personal and painful my poems are without scaring you away? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Thank you for saying what I couldn't, Yuri. Do you have experience or writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Mm -hmm. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. We all look quizzically at Maka. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Hallie? Well, Monica smiles warmly at Hallie. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? I never said I would join this club. Siri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decisions. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... But... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. Figures. Hilly. Y you all... He sighs. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, our eyes light up. Sammy wraps her arms around him from behind, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. I would be, too. That, that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Uh, Monica looks over at Hallie once more. Hallie, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> y yeah. I start cleaning up the food while Yuri puts away the tea. It isn't until everything is put away that I find that Hallie walked home with Sayori. Well, 
They are close friends after all. I gather my things and walk home alone. When I arrive home, I try to sneak my way into my room so that I don't disturb Papa. Although I make no noise and he isn't even looking in my direction, he still speaks up as I pass by the living room. Have fun with your friends today? Yeah, they're good to me. He turns around in his chair and looks directly at me. Um, sorry, Suki. I'm sorry too. I don't like it when you're angry. And we both know you're not well right now. I try. Maybe you should call Uncle Chris and... No, just go away. He angrily throws a nearby glass at me. It doesn't hit me, of course, but it does shatter from the floor. I run to my room and stay there all night crying. I hear him crying in the living room as well. Papa, I know you try. Anyone can try. But I guess that's about it. When I arrive at the club meeting, I'm a little disappointed to not see Hallie. He probably only came for cupcakes and agreed to join because he felt pressure. We're never going to see him again. I'm irritated by the thought and a little frustrated by my own irritation. I'm a strong, independent woman who doesn't need a boyfriend. Even if I do want one. I see our newest member has quit us already. Ellie is not like that. He'll be here with a bomb. He's pretty late. We should have started a couple minutes ago, Samory. He did say he didn't want to join any clubs this year, and last year, too. Why am I not surprised? Hi again, Hallie. Glad to see didn't run away on us. <laughs> I hadn't noticed him walk in. Better late than never, I suppose. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Siri, er, Siri whispers to me. Oh, you so. Thanks for keeping your promise, Hallie. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. I can't believe Yuri is going to so easy on him like that. Oh, come on! Like he deserves any slack! Siri told me it didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Monsky, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. I can't believe Monica would say that. She knows I can't take it home. Things are bad enough with Papa already. And yet, I can't bear to get rid of it either. I feel myself start to cry at the thought of losing one of the last things I have from before. I don't want to cry in front of Hallie. I let myself get angry in order to hold back the tears. I read Monica for what she said. I read Hallie for seeing me as a weak little girl. I read Papa for being so difficult. I read myself for everything. M -m 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 I want to curse at Monica, but I could hold back and change what I was going to say at the last second. Manga is literature! That was a stupid thing to say. Feeling defeated, I plopped down in my seat. Don't worry, guys. Hallie always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. I look at Yuri, Sayori, and Hallie talking together. I drown out the conversation between them and just watch and think. Of course he cooks and cleans. Of course he's dependable. He's the perfect guy that any girl would want to be with. But why would he want a girl when he can have a woman? What I should be. Tall, buxom, curvy, with long, beautiful hair down to her waist. Instead, I'm short, flat, straight, with cropped hair and a pair of ponytails. What I always, or what I will always be, a girl. Maybe I'll be different if it made Papa happy. If he laughed and smiled, calling me his little parfait girl again, I think I'd be happy. But instead, I remind him of that day. I can't help it. I can't change the way I look. And it wouldn't matter anyways. I know that deep in his heart he will always see me as his little girl, no matter how much he may wish otherwise. He can't help it. Neither of us can. Why am I wasting my time moping like this? This isn't me. I should be doing something I enjoy. Like reading some of my manga. At the 
closet, I look over the covers trying to decide what I should read today when I notice a volume missing. I immediately know who did it. While I do appreciate Monica branching out and trying to share my love of manga with me, I really wish you would take better care of it. It may be a pile of cheap titles to a true collector, the kind of stuff people get rid of at a garage sale, but it's irreplaceable to me. In a way, it's a part of me. Losing a piece of it is like losing a hand or foot. My anger rises even more as I see what what or what what series the missing volume is from. Parfait girls. I begin desperately tearing the closet apart looking for it. That series is a bit personal to me, and not just because of the name. It's the heart of my collection. I'm not finding it. It's not here. Freaking Monica. I'm going to kill her. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just going to mess it up? Manga. Yeah, how long has he been there? Why isn't he with Yuri or one of the others? Does he really like manga so much he'd be willing to spend time with a girl? You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Why is he so nervous? Is he shy because of me? Or is he embarrassed about enjoying something many consider childish? How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Wait, I don't want him to think I'm some lovesick bimbo that listens to everything a guy says. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. That'll keep him guessing. Uh, I see. While he's distracted, I go back to finding my book. I soon realize that Hallie has somehow found it and is holding it in his hands. There it is. I've been searching for so long, how did he find it so easily? I snatch it from him. I notice it's volume 8. I turn the box it belongs in and I put it back in its proper place. Ah, much better. I feel complete again. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. He does? Really? He moves closer to take it closer at... <laughs> moves closer to take it closer. <laughs> at the box. Parfait girls. I can tell by his tone he's already dismissing my favorite story just from the name. Is he really so shallow? If you're gonna judge, you can go do it through the glass on that door. I point towards the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. He probably reads nothing but Dragon Ball. Wait, I shouldn't be so quick to judge myself. But I'll tell you one thing, Hallie. Consider this a lesson straight from the Literature Club. Don't judge a book by its cover. Especially me. In fact, I pull out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. I shove the book right into his hands. Uh, he just stares at the cover looking a bit dumbfounded. Don't just stand there. Uh, I, or I grab his arm and pull him out of the closet. I then take a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. He doesn't seem to get the hint, so I pat on the ground so he'll sit next to me. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? How will you see that I'm nice to cuddle with if we're sitting in chairs? The chairs wouldn't work. Wait, that's too obvious. We can't read at the same time like that. Good save. Eh, why's that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. My heart flutters a bit. I see Monica wink at me from across the room. So don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. I'm so embarrassed right now. I make a show of scooting away from him just a little bit. Sorry. He opens the look correctly. After a while, I scoot back even closer, hoping he won't notice. I peer over his shoulder, eager to learn his reaction to it. Well, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Just under four years. Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Although it's my favorite story, I have only read it once. It hits a little too close to home. Uh, maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Good excuse. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh... So, oh, what should I expect from this? Is there getting, or is there going to be a plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I guess I know 
what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter, or chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. But that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Not like when they get into all their backstories and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it so good. There are so many touching parts. Ah, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. I feel warm with the thought that he's looking past my appearance and seeing if there's more to me. <laughs> Did I just giggle out loud? I don't giggle, only girls do. I gotta turn this around. Hey, wait! What's that supposed to mean? What? Uh, I give him a playful shove. It just meant that I haven't yet seen you at your full power. Hmm, good save. Ah, this chapter seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well, I think for a bit on how to respond without getting into topics that are too painful to talk about. Mom and Papa loved to cook. Teaching me to bake was once a freaking family activity for us. I enjoyed doing that almost as much as I loved Papa reading to me. Yeah. Why does that matter? Didn't Siri say he cooks? It doesn't. I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? I don't care how cute he is. This is getting too personal. That's just a coincidence. I don't want him to know that this is, or that in this manga I see how life might have been for me if things had gone differently. If the accident hadn't happened, I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga. Of course, now he probably thinks I'm impressionable. Like I would ever get into anything because it's in a manga. I feel bad for anyone that impressionable. <laughs> I am so embarrassed right now. We read together for some time. I'm pleased to see that he does seem to be enjoying it. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not! Even though you're just watching me read? Well, sharing something so intimate to me is not boring. I'm fine with it. Is he bored though? If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? That's true, but Parfait Girls isn't something I share. He sees the hesitation on my face. Hmm? You don't? Um... That's not! It's scary sharing something so personal even if the other person doesn't realize it. Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Siri and Monica read manga with me at times, but I haven't really shared it. I think Monica suspects, though, since she's been reading Parfait Girls on her own. But even with how much I love and care for my friends, it hurts too much to open that up with them. Could you not rub it in? Jeez! Surprised there's no mention of her, like, toxic friends from the side stories, since the consequences my guy uses a bit of that canon in these. Uh, sorry. Hmm. I don't want him to probe deeper into this with it, or deeper into this with me. There we go. Time to steer him in the wrong direction. He doesn't know me well enough to know I have no friends outside of the literature club. Like I could never ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet. Makes me want to punch them in the face. I'm certain he'll believe that. Uh, I know these kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. He took the bait! I'm already kind of a loser. Wait, really? I don't think you're a loser. So I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time? You gravitated towards me! Does that mean you think I'm a loser too? But it's probably harder for someone like you. Someone like me? A girl with few friends, never had a boyfriend, makes her father angry just like being there. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. I wish it wasn't. I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. Technically true, but I know it wouldn't be good. At least it's safe here in the club room. Most of the time. If she'd lost that volume... Except Monk was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? 
I mean, here I am, reading it. True. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Well, yes. I feel myself start to blush and do my best to hide it. So? <laughs> I feel hurt that he's laughing at me. Jeez, that's enough! Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs>